Hi guys, my name is Alyssa Brianna and today I'm going to be doing a different type of video from what I normally post. I'm going to be letting Instagram choose my life for a day. So I've already posted a few polls on my story, um, just so you know, y'all can pick out what I'm wearing, contacts, things like that. Um, so it is currently 12.50 in the afternoon, yes, I'm just now starting my day. I woke up at 12 and I like to just lay in bed for like an hour, like just scrolling through TikTok and things like that, responding to emails. So now I'm ready to start my day. Um, so before I even get into getting ready or anything like that, your girl needs to, um, fold her laundry. So let me go do that real quick and we'll fix this y'all. I'm breaking out so bad. If you have been following me for a while, y'all know I never break out. It's like, I don't know what, I don't know what's happening. So now that we're done with laundry, now I can finally start my day at 1.08 p.m. <laughs> so I asked you guys, which contacts would you want me to wear? Just my regular contacts or my colored ones? I didn't give my glasses an option because these are way too big and I can't work with them. So I got to put contacts on. 52% uh, of you said colored contacts. So I'm going to go ahead and wear these green ones. I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me just pop them in. Now we got my green contacts on. Yes, these are prescription ones so I can see. I just feel like I look weird when I just have a bare face and just these colored contacts. Um, so thank God 69% of y'all said put some makeup on. Okay, so I asked bare face or makeup 69%. I'm not going to lie. Even if makeup loss, I was going to do my makeup regardless because of um all of this so let's go ahead and do that i just want to give a little shout out to whoever's on my live right now we got 222 people watching me do my makeup yes 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 shout out to all y'all i don't know if it's focusing on your names but i'm gonna try to have this video posted by this weekend today's dates is december 7th We'll see when this gets posted. Okay, so now my makeup is done. I let you guys on my live um, help pick up my makeup. Um, this is what y'all pick. We have red, gold, brown lips. Now we're going to do my hair. I completely forgot to do a poll for my hair. So I'm going to pick it. I'm going to do a half up, half down. If it looks hideous, because this is day like five or six hair, we're just going to throw it into a bun. Just finished my hair. I'm having like the worst hair day ever. I have so much product in it, but we're gonna work with what we got. Let's see what color tracks you. I think I already saw it was burgundy. 75% of you chose burgundy. So it is this Fashion Nova tracksuit. So pretty, it just reminds me of like my hair color. I've really been into tracksuits lately. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like so easily influenced by TikTok, like Y2K, tracksuits have been the vibe. So, now we're tracksuits. Um, hopefully it fits. I never even tried it on, so if it doesn't fit, then uh, we gotta change the whole outfit. TMI, are we even surprised? Oh my god, oh my god, you guys. 10 out of 10, y'all, y'all did good. Y'all did good. Um, this outfit is from Fashion Nova and it fits me perfect, but that's a problem for y'all. For reference, I'm five feet and the length is perfect. So if you're taller than five feet and you want this, it's not gonna fit you. Sorry. I'm thinking juicy Uggs with it. Let me go get it for y'all. Hold on. Like, I have regular Uggs, of course, like just the real Uggs. I have tan, gray, black dark brown but I just thought these juicy ones would go best considering we're trying to do like a y2k vibe the bling and I think it's raining out and I don't want my real Uggs to get messed up and I don't really care if these get messed up I think these were probably like $25 let's see if they look good is this a vibe this a vibe I think it's a vibe it's a vibe now, for jewelry, I just didn't put that in a poll because I wasn't going to take these necklaces off. It's just a matter of earrings. 
I'm kind of stuck between these gold pretty butterfly earrings. I'm still on live, by the way, y'all. So while I'm talking to you, I'm still on live. I have these gold butterfly earrings. Or I could wear these bamboo hoops. I don't know. Bamboo hoops, butterfly earrings. I honestly, I should have put this in a poll. I just keep forgetting that there's like steps to this. So, I don't know. Let's see what the people on live say. We have hoops, 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 butterfly, hoops, hoops, hoops. Okay, we're going to do the hoops. I see more hoops than butterfly. Fun fact about these hoops, these are actually my mom's. She really did wear these in the 90s. Because y'all know how like that's a thing too now. Um, I stole them from her. Stole them from her. Love, love. Love. I'm feeling it today. And then let's see what we got going for perfume. Wasn't going to ask y'all that because it's just freaking perfume. I think it's only appropriate to use this perfume. This is the pink sugar perfume. Yeah, y'all know. It's giving Y2K. It's giving Y2K, so we want to smell like Y2K too. Okay, we're good. Now, um, I can finally go and eat lunch. It's 2.48. Okay, 2.48 and I haven't eaten lunch. Let's see what y'all picked for me. Y'all better pick good. Y'all picked... Drum roll, please. Y'all pick Panera, y'all. It was 79% Panera and 21% Duchess, which is amazing because honestly, that's what I wanted. And right next to Panera is Starbucks. So I like to get my little strawberry acai with it. Let me show y'all the cutest Starbucks cup I just got like two weeks ago that I like to use. Hold on. Wow. This is so cute, you guys. I saw this trending all over TikTok, the gold and the pink one. And I was like, eh, like, I'm okay without it. But then I went to Target and I saw there was only one left. And I was like, you know what? It has my name on it. This is my one and only Starbucks cup. So it just screams me. Let's go get some, let's go get some Panera. Look who interrupted my peace and quiet. My nose is bad. I'm just trying to eat some Panera and get my Starbucks and he's entertaining my followers on live. They love me more than you. Okay. Don't hit me. Skadoosh. <laughs> so, this should be the thumbnail. Oh, this should be the thumbnail. <laughs> you just kicked me in the face, bro. What did you say? What do you mean? Just repeat it for the camera. My nose has this issue since 2012. That's almost half of my life. So if I could, I would just go outside, take my nose off, and just trade it with somebody. But why Barack Obama? It doesn't matter who. But why did you pick Barack Obama? Bro, because he just came to the top of my head. Who's <laughs> who's a cartoon character that has a huge schnauzer? I don't know. Just anybody, just name one person. Who has a huge schnauzer cartoon character, real character? Ferb. Ferb. I would take Ferb's nose, that big ass triangle. But you sometimes you said you want to take it off and hang it out and then put it back on. Yeah. Put it I, air out. I just don't want this nose anymore. I'd rather be Voldemort. Would you get a nose job? Uh no, if, I like your nose. Okay, I don't like this. Yeah, that can get fixed. I'm talking about the shape of it and like size. Like I think it fits your face. Like I wouldn't want you to like get a nose job. Yeah, and no, I like my nose too, but I just don't like. Okay. <laughs> it looks like a minefield, bro. Like somebody's like a toy just walks on it. They're gonna blow up. I know I'm supposed to be at Panera, but can you guys guess here on YouTube which one is Carlos's twin? Yes, he's a twin. Put in the comments. The one with the glasses, the shorter one, or the tall one with the fro? I'm going to give you all five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. It's the shorter one with the glasses, you guys. Everybody on live is guessing it's the taller one. If y'all couldn't tell, I'm currently in my office. Um, coming to work was not an option on the pole because I had to come. Um, so we got a... Strawberry acai. I don't like getting the strawberry chunks in it because the thought of like the slimy chunks getting in my mouth sickens me. We got 
from Panera. I got some tomato soup and mac and cheese. Love, love, love. I'm probably gonna have to poop my pants after this because I'm lactose intolerant. And I got some bread to go with it because I like to dip the bread in the soup. Bon appetit. Is anybody else like an iPad baby? I literally love watching YouTube videos or TikToks while I eat. Um, I watch the reel every single day. I know that the show got um, canceled or was done or whatever. I still watch it every day on YouTube. Every single day, y'all. So right now, I have to run to the post office for a little mini dump. And then I have to check my PO box because everybody has been sending me stuff. And... The post office people be getting real mad at me when I don't come to check my PO box. They're like, girl, it's overfilled. Like, you need to start coming more. And I'm like, okay. And then I come once every couple of weeks. <laughs> so I really need to, like, be on it. I just came back from the post office. First of all, look at my pink tree. Obviously, y'all have seen it in my last YouTube video. But if this is your first YouTube video, got a little pink tree in my office. Um, I got a bunch of stuff in my PO box, but for right now, I'm just going to show this one until I get home, then I'll show the rest, because I'm very excited about this one. I'm hoping it's a pillow. For those who don't know, um, my dog just passed away about two weeks ago, and we were, I was shopping, okay, so I was shopping, and I'm like praying, I'm like, God, do dogs really go to heaven? Like, people say they don't. Like, please let me know. Give me a sign. Literally, like, this is an hour after he died. I'm in Marshalls, y'all. Like, that's that's just comforting to me. I love shopping. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go to Marshalls, shop, and then, okay? This pillow that has three Yorkies on it. For those who don't know, I have three Yorkies. One of them just passed, and a Border Collie. Three Yorkies on the pillow. Three boy girl boy that's the order of my dog's birth they're all brothers and sisters um blood boy girl boy milo is the one who um passed away let me whip out a picture hold on let me get the picture so y'all can see exactly what i'm talking about i don't know if you guys can see those are all my dogs i had a, i got a portrait of them last year like just because i love them so much that's the one who passed away look at that they look pretty similar i, I don't know if it's hard to see they look pretty similar, Yorkies. And then this one looks a little doofy. Tell me the middle dog don't look goofy. Doofy. And then that's Chewy. They look exactly like, except this one has light fur. He has dark fur. And this was the only pillow hanging out there. Like, legit. It was just one singular pillow with my dog on it. And I was like, okay. He's in heaven. That's all I need to know. And I grabbed it and I showed my mom. Um, I texted her. And she was... I could tell she was mad. She was like, I want that pillow. And I was like, well, no, it's mine. Like, I want the pillow. I found it. And she she really wanted it. And so I posted on Instagram. I was like, hey, if anybody, I showed them the picture of the pillow. I was like, hey, if anybody could please find this pillow for me. I've been searching everywhere. There was only one. And my family really, 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 really needs it. I looked at all the Marshalls next to me, all the TJ Maxx's next to me, all the Home Goods next to me. There was no more to be found. But somebody found it near them. Not only did they get me one, they got me two of them, you guys. So I'm going to give one to my mom. And obviously I already have one. But I have that one for display because like, I don't want anybody to touch it. So now one of these I'll keep for myself and actually sleep with it. One of them will be for display. And one of them will be for my mom. I'm literally so happy. She left me a little note. She said, sorry for the delay. I promised they would come. I don't know why she thought I doubted her so somebody on, on live was like oh how do you know they're really gonna send you the pillows I was like I, I don't know I'm just putting my faith in them that they if they say they're gonna send it so I think she got a little like offended that I said there's a chance she wouldn't send it so shout out to Elena from Pennsylvania girl thank you thank you thank you thank you Actually, guys, I think I'm gonna keep one of these at my office So I have one at home one in my office and one for my mom even though it's Christmas themed, I'm keeping this here all year round. I have this cute little um, couch in my little office. Like this is my personal office and then out there is the big office. So that way, every time I come in, I can look at their cute little faces. I lied when I said I'm opening the rest at home oh, because I'm just too excited. I have no clue what this is. It feels like a shirt or something. Oh, she sent me 
a little what is this a scarf not a scarf oh my god i'm an idiot like a headband is this a headband that's supposed to keep me warm or is this a headband for like um doing my makeup i don't know shout out to uh laura from florida thank you she must watch me on live because my favorite color is pink and then the last package that i got that isn't like returns from business is from a brand called jc collections i'm excited i love the pink box already what's in here Ooh. we already got a note she said <clears throat> okay i'm gonna read the note super quick Hey girl, before I introduce myself, I would just like to say that I hope you and your family are doing great. My name is Mercy. I've been following you for about a year. I think, lol. I was probably scrolling your TikTok one day and you came up on your page. You were packing orders on live. I immediately followed. And ever since I purchased a few products from your business. And the crazy thing is I had previously think about starting my own business and had my fears and doubts of whether or not it would work out for me. With all this being said, I just want to let you know that you've inspired me to do so. I recently launched my cosmetic brand, JC Collection, named after my daughter, and wants to send you some goodies so you can let me know what you think about them. Your feedback would be greatly appreciated. Your motivation to continue to serve me tremendously, and I want you to know that you're not just making different people's lives and preventing them with necessary tools that, necessary tools that you need. <laughs> I messed up. Necessary tools that they need in order to protect themselves. You're for sure also making a difference to those who want to start their own business and honestly just females in general by being a smart, strong woman who's also a boss babe. I'm super excited to continue seeing you and your business flourish. And I honestly wish you did nothing but great success and beyond sure that you'll keep crushing. God bless. XOXO Mercy. Okay, I'm going to keep that. Okay, y'all. I... I really want to like go through it. I can tell it's like makeup. I see lipsticks, lashes, and more. But I do want to make a TikTok about it. And I do want to show TikTok this note. So we're going to act like we never opened it. I mean, technically, I didn't even go through what's in there. I could just see without moving the cookie bar, I could see what kind of is in there. So I do want to give her a shout out on TikTok. So fortunately, I have to do that off camera. Wait till I'm home later or tomorrow. But shout out to Mercy. She's from the Bronx. Shout out to you, girl. Thank you so much. I can't believe I'm like inspiring people to start their own businesses. This is like crazy. It's the best thing ever though. Even though it's super stressful, being your own boss is the best thing that has ever, ever, ever happened to me. So shout out to her. Um, now I have to go ahead and pack orders on live for those who don't know. Um, obviously, if this is your first video, you're like, okay, what kind of business do you have? I have a self-defense um, business. So I have been dropping Christmas designs all of December. So I just want to go on live for a little and pack some orders. It is currently 5.22. So I'm hoping to be done here by 7, 7.30 is like really pushing it because you know I have to go eat dinner. Um, right now in the polls, I put pizza or Mexican food. And right now Mexican food is winning and I really don't want Mexican food. I want pizza. So y'all better, y'all better get it together here. Okay, taking a break from packing, look at how many <laughs> boxes I just bought from the post office. Well, they're free. But I just wanted to make sure I was prepared for Christmas, y'all. And I didn't want to have to keep getting them over and over and over. So they're going to try to fit it into that little closet right over there. <laughs> is the pizza monster happy? Pizza monster is happy. So I'm in confession, you guys. Uh, I said, what should I eat? What should me and Carl eat for dinner? 38% of people said pizza. And 62% said Mexican food. Well, where are we right now? Pizza. Pizza. Uh, we cheated a little bit. It's because in our head, we were like, pizza, pizza. And then I put Mexican food. I thought you were going to put pizza. Y'all think Mexican food? Whatever. But do you know what the next question after that was? Yeah, I do. What we should we should eat for dessert? Yeah. And so far. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> so, cut the camera. Y'all. <laughs> the waitress thought we were doing a review on her. I'm like, no. I actually want you the extra food. <laughs> um, what should I have dessert? It's ice cream or cookies. So far, ice cream's winning. So we'll see who's still winning at the end of this. And do you have a question after? Yeah, I'm not doing that one. Why? What You're time? Cheating. What time is it? 7:30. It's 7:30. Yeah. yeah. By the time that we leave here, bro, I have work tomorrow. No, he's a cheater. Bro, you worked until late. Okay, then it'll close to 9:30. I'm okay. going to be in bed. What should we do after dinner? Go to TJ Maxx? 
or go home and watch a movie. So far, 57% of people said go to TJ Maxx. Come on, baby, it's a YouTube I'm bit. not going to TJ Maxx, bro. I'm not. Bro, I have work tomorrow morning. Boo-hoo. We'll see. I, I, it, we'll see. We'll what see. if what if go home and watch a movie is the winner anyways? You'll be real happy about that yeah, one. I'll do that one. Okay. Starting off with some mozzarella. <laughs> Guys, you're gonna tell me Mexican was better than <laughs> And then of course he got his fries on the side. Oh. <laughs> 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 Y'all look at look at my phone. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Garlic bag. Oh. We gotta do this. No, oh, like. No. no, you gotta go like this. <laughs> Are we even surprised? The ice cream machine is down, you guys. So, ice cream won for dessert. I mean, yeah, for dessert, 74%. But your girl can't even eat ice cream. And I'm not driving nowhere else. Let's see, frozen drink. We could try the Fanta. Wow, sure. cherry. Let me get a, what if I don't like it? Enlarged? Whatever, I'll lose out on three bucks. Yeah, give me that. You don't want to try it? I'll try it, but I don't want okay. it. Like, I don't want to. All home. right, I'm very upset about this. I was really thinking about this ice cream all day because I knew ice cream was going to win. Yeah. Here. I'll be the judge of this frozen Fanta. Mm. It's not that bad. It reminds me of that, what's that thing called from Taco Bell, the thing I always get? The wild cherry. The wild cherry glass. Baja freeze glass, glass freeze. But the Taco Bell one tastes better. Your thoughts, sir? Yo, this McDonald's lighting hit different. I like the Taco Bell one more. That's what I'm saying, y'all. The Taco Bell one hits different. Taco Bell one has a lot more flavor to it. That one has like no flavor when you first drink it. It's more of an aftertaste. Yeah. That's an L. Wasted my three buckles. Oh wait, so the next poll. <laughs> what should me, what should we do after dinner? Go to TJ Maxx or go home and watch a movie? Go to TJ Maxx has 56%. And I got nervous, I was like, oh, that means I'm gonna have less than an hour of shop because it closed at 9.30. They updated their holiday hours, they close at 11. I'm not going. Yeah. What time is it right now? 8.38. It's 8.38. This girl knows I'll be in bed by 9 p.m. 9 p.m. She knows if I don't be in bed relaxing by 9, I wake up the next day a monster. A complete and total ogre. <laughs> Shrek himself. Let me give you all story time. A mini one. So I usually have my alarms for 4.45 because he needs help waking up sometimes. Like he'll wake up late, he won't hear his alarms. He lowers his alarms. That's like, that's worse than snoozing. He'll hear it and just lower, lower, lower. So then all the other alarms he doesn't hear it. Anyways, one day, it's like 5.15. So I'm like, okay, like he really has to get up. I've been like pushing him. He really has to get up. I literally, no joke, I go like this. To his back. Why would you do that? I said, do what? You're like, you're starting with me already. What? You're like, you're beating on me. Ain't nobody beating on you. I said, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to bed. Go ahead and be late. 
and I, I didn't wake up for any of, of his arms. He wanted to be rude. And then he thought I was kidding when I was like, I'm not, I'm not waking up for you again. And then, coincidentally, what was it, like a few days later, I was like, I'm not turning on my alarm tomorrow. He goes, okay. I did not turn on my alarms. He will go, 540? He will go, about 540? You don't want to be beat on, so be late then. Oh my god, and y'all, why did the waitress, she was like, is that your real hair? Yes, it's my real hair. I'm assuming she meant it as like all of it. Like, yes, this is all my real hair. She's like, real eyes? She got me there, man. She got me there. My this video got my face looking hella fat. Okay, it's not about your face. I know, face. it's not. It's about this face. Shiro. 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 I'm currently at TJ Maxx, y'all. I think so. It's gonna be a little hard to record because there's so many people and I get really anxious. What y'all know about that Dooney and Burke? My mom used to get me Dooney and Burke all the time for Christmas and birthday presents. Like, I want it so bad. I don't want to spend $100 on it. <sighs> okay, y'all. I tried to come over alone by myself over here. There's so many people here. And it's late. It's literally 9.33. Why are so many people here? My cart is filled. I got rid of some stuff, but... I'm trying to narrow it down. They just had too much good stuff, y'all. They have YSL. They already have some Valentine's Day stuff out. Like, come on. Come on. My favorite animal. I <sighs> Watch this total. My guess. Mm, I'm going to give it like mm, $300. Just because, like, look at this palette alone. It's forty dollars. This is forty dollars. This right here. So, but I have coupons. I think I have like forty dollars worth of coupons. So, oh my god, y'all. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna put it all on TikTok and not on here. We'll see if I have more stuff. This is very dangerous. That Carlos sent me here alone. Why would you do that? Because now he knows I'm gonna spend all my money. Come on now, y'all know I keep that thing on me. Look at that bling, you guys. Cause the parking lot's a little empty, so it's a little scary. I did some damage, you guys. My arm is dying, it's so heavy. Let me, I'm gonna tell y'all in the car a little more detail. This is the best that the lighting's gonna get. I feel like I look pink, but whatever. I was literally off by one dollar. I told y'all, I said, I think this is gonna be 300. It was $299.70. So I was actually off by 30 cents. I'm I'm good at this, okay, I'm good. Um, But then I had $40 worth of coupons. I'm mean, probably wondering, girl, where you get these Marshalls or TJ Maxx coupons? I have the TJX rewards card. So every $100, I think I get like $10 back. Yeah, every $100 I get $10 back. The calculations, I don't freaking know, okay? Um, so then the total ended up being $259.70. Um, so I got all that that you saw in my cart, and then, cart, cart, all that that you saw in my cart, and then I got like two more things that Carlos got for presents. So I obviously can't show that. It's for our dads. So yeah, if y'all wanna see that whole haul, Head over to my TikTok. My TikTok is Alyssa Briek. So I'm always posting my TJ Maxx and Marshalls hauls. Um, but yeah, this is the end of my live. My you guys, I'm on live every day. That's what I'm so used to saying. This is the end of my vlog for the day. Um, I actually like the choices that you guys all picked, except for the Mexican food, which is why I went and got pizza. Um, and if you guys would want to see something similar to this, uh, let me know in the, oh, I'm all wobbly. Let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Oh! <laughs>